We have a fun, actually I don't even know what the night holds. <laughs> like, I don't think we're going to a park. If anything, we'll probably go to a resort. Um, but we are across the street from Old Town, right next to Machine Gun America on 192. 192. This is like just, this is like a mile east of Celebration. Yes. So pretty close to property, kind of closest to Disney Springs entrance to property. Um, but we are going to eat at a food truck of a friend of ours. Um, another person that we met at Enzo's Hideaway. We did mention her before. She was actually waited on us. And um, she was able, she doesn't work there anymore. They're just going to do the food truck thing. And she so can stay, stay at home, mom. And she is just awesome. We just clicked with her right away. Yeah. So she's friends with Katie from working there. And um, so we are going to go and see what this food is all about. Yeah. And the it's official a soft opening. opening. Yeah. yeah. Today's soft opening. Official opening is Friday. Yeah. It's called. And it's the same. Vote. Jacqueline was mentioned in Dom and, and Victoria's vlog. Yes, if you remember them we talking were there, about it, because they were the ones heckling. She was the one heckling them about moving down here. Yeah. So let's go. Let's we'll go check it. out what's going on. Okay. So Peter is paying right over there. This is something else. It's Old Town. We've actually never been there, but we've driven past it a handful of time, times. Um, I guess it gets really busy, like really late here, he said on the weekends, like 2 a.m. Um, but we got the buffalo wings, the loaded fries, and mac and cheese. Yeah, so we didn't think we'd get that much food. <laughs> so we actually had we dinner. We were excited, okay? We were actually ate dinner at home, and then we got here, get pumped. It was a healthy dinner. It was healthy. Um, it was couscous and pork. Oh, that dinner, yeah, that dinner was healthy. Yeah, this our one was not as much. Yeah, beforehand wasn't like super filling. Like it was, it was enough food, but um, we knew we were gonna get at least wings. Yeah. We didn't realize that we we're gonna get all that. Yeah. Um. So, we were very impressed. Very impressed. But Jacqueline's husband was a, is, is the chef, and he was a chef in New York before they lived here. It's just what we expected it to be. It was top notch. Yeah, it was super good. The wings were super good because they weren't, like, I don't like wings that are super saucy. Yeah. Like, you like to taste the meat and taste the seasoning and then taste the sauce. And, like, it just had, like, the perfect sauce to chicken ratio, and it was really good sauce. It was, like, your, like, vinegar, buffalo, like, just delicious and then it came with blue cheese but it wasn't chunky at all it was like creamy blue cheese and it had a it little was good. I'm not a big fan of neither blue am cheese. I and I dipped it in there yeah um, then we had the loaded fries which had a bunch of different sauces on it it had a garlic aioli mayo on it um, ketchup mustard a pink sauce and there's going to eventually be an additional pineapple sauce on them and then it also had cheese like white like cheese cheese like yeah. real cheese and like big chunks of bacon i was a fan of the fries <laughs> so the only thing i'd say about the fries mm -hmm. is i wish they would have done like dual layers of the sauces so the sauces were just on top and it was a hefty amount of fries which is awesome and fresh mm -hmm. hot and crispy but if you didn't like carefully get your forkfuls then you you could end up with a bunch of fries in the bottom with that yeah. sauce but the I sauce think it was concoction i surprised though like that it did like work its way down. yeah like, it, it did wasn't... and i was nervous about the five sauces but they were super good yeah all together they were so good and then um, I guess the mac and cheese is, is like Jackie's, like her, like she makes the, um, she makes mac and cheese, and so, he said he's she he wants it to be cheesier, but um, the, we agree like we would like more cheese, but it was the nice. flavor was awesome. The flavor, it's like again, it's like real cheese. It's not it's like that mac cheese and cheese we had the three blue broomsticks. Like think of the polar opposite of that. Yes, like yeah. So that was better. like microwave craft at three broomsticks. No, microwave craft is better than what the three broomsticks. Okay, that was, it like was like bottom of the barrel mac and cheese at, at three broomsticks, but this was top notch. It was super yeah, good. It was really so good. Good job, and guys. And then they gave us this um, this soda pop, Colombiana, Colombiana. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they gave us Spanish pop. They gave us Spanish pop. It was really good. It, it was, was like, super good. Was and like, I think you can get that at Disney Springs at the Coca-Cola store. He was saying. Oh, like. 
it's okay. It's one of those flavors. But if you're on vacation and you're looking for something different and you've got a car, mm -hmm. it's just southeast of property. And if you're local, it's actually right by Food Truck World. I guess behind this gift shop is like 27 food trucks like it's a huge thing yeah but he's on the front like on the weekend it's almost like a nightclub like yeah they have music, djs fun. and everything but yeah. he's right on front of 192 across from um old town where they've got those sling sling slide uh what are they called slingshot slingshot launches you can kind of yeah. see them from property if you're on like a big ride tall ride you look over and you see a big lit up v that's basically where this is yeah so, locals so. check it out vacationers if you can and good prices like, yeah you know what he used to be a chef in New York. Like, can I just point that out? Like, he was a chef in New York, and he was, and now he's in a food truck. Like, that's like you're getting good stuff. Yeah, and they kind of did the same thing where like they moved from a big city to come down here, and they just love it down here. So, it's kind of so cool. Like, we gotta support like, them. We, we moved down around the same time, and so. they're following their dreams like how we are. Yeah. We vlog every day. They cook every day. Yeah. That was really good. So I'm pretty certain tomorrow we go back to normal Disney theme park vlogs, but tonight we're back in normal society again. Kind of normal, kind of normal. We're going to, I think we're gonna watch Greatest Showman tonight with Dustin and Katie, but we may have been rubbing off on them and so we're about to find out if they may have done some purchases. So let's go see if they don't know we're here yet. Okay, I see Dustin. Dustin's right there. Oh, there's Katie. And there's Katie. <laughs> they, sp they saw us. We gotta go. <laughs> All right, so we're at Best Buy. Dustin's talking to a dude. We're looking at cameras. So here's the, the G7X Mark II for 680. Here's the RX100 Sony. Let us know down below which you, anybody, any of you out there. Katie really likes this look. It looks so much crisper and it says it shoots 4K UHD. Um, let us know down below. Dollars. It's a thousand bucks. Let us know down below what you think about that. Katie, we get the best feedback from people who actually watch this and use this stuff because they'll let us know. Like this is $300 cheaper so for the Mark II. But this looks crisp. But when I walked over, Dustin was talking to the guy about the Sony Alpha series. And I'm gonna push Dustin to get this if he's willing to get because these are interchangeable. You can get microphone attachments. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Super down. awesome. Let us know down below what you think of this series. If you should do the A6300, the A6300, 6, or 65. They had a 65 down there. 65 would be awesome. But I think at a minimum, this has a better deal right now because you can get this with two lenses. Um, I'm not sure which ones. 30 and then maybe a 180 or 120. I'm not good with the lenses just yet. But this is higher because this is 4K. But I told him don't worry about the 4K, just worry about the 1080. I don't know, you can let me know. I think the, the 1080 and is, especially for just starting out for vlogging, I think the 1080 is fine. They're not going to be co doing crazy cinematography at first with the 4K or something with like, if they could get the two different lenses for the same price, that's better than just the standard one or the point and shoot that it's limited. Let us know. They need your help because we've had this G7X for like five years now. Do they and that's need all we your have. Help or do we, need your help? we also need your help because <laughs> I want to get a new camera too. Sarah snitched on me to Katie yesterday. I threw this camera across that, that dance line that we had at the party. Yeah, you know when it went from like Peter to like across the, you know, when it went from us to me holding it across the he literally threw it and I did not catch it. And it busted on the ground. And so I, it was felt like, it. I felt it. I know, I saw Katie. I was like, <gasps> I, was like oh. I can't there's take the lens off and show you the body, but there's a huge dent in the side now. Sarah's and like, he might not be mad about it. I'm not mad about it. It's. It's just, it's The versatile. snitching was that he wouldn't mind if it broke. Yeah, Sarah thinks I'm gonna try to break this camera to force us to buy a new camera. But, 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 but this is what I want. Sorry. Sarah said we could get like, one today. Maybe Santa will bring it to you. Maybe. Will you tell Santa to bring me one? I know him. You know him? I'll write him a letter. I want that one. I'd even go for this one. I'd, I'd go for the spark. It's little. It Wait, is. Why is that one? Oh no, that's just a... The, the spark is 350. The quadrocopter. That's the Mavic bad. Pro. It was flip, flippity flop. No, oh you can get it cheaper than that online. Danny Phantom. Danny <laughs> Phantom. I used to watch Danny Phantom. Did you too? Yeah. Yes. Peter and Dustin abandoned us. Abandoned. <laughs> no, we decided to split up. They're getting Chipotle. We're going to Target, and we're meeting at ice cream place. Just as girly if, thing. As if we didn't eat 
enough already today. No such thing. But Dustin gave us a huge grocery list, so. <laughs> Which I think we just passed out. Okay. <laughs> Must. <laughs> Got a blast. Got a blast, yeah. These girls were gone for like six hours. Yeah, you told us a million things to do. I didn't tell you, I had a single thing to do. You did, you said get in the car, you guys go. You did. I meant, come here. <laughs> Not so sure. Are we gonna watch this movie or what? Yeah. And why, you got a pizza? Why'd you get a pizza? Because I didn't eat. Oh. This is my kitchen. Are you gonna be a star, Peter? MTV Cribs. I, actually, I burned this myself in the backyard. Our realtor gave us that. Look at this. I'm showing Eve Don't again. Show Eve this. Last time you did this, I showed her for real. Cheating! <laughs> We're doing. She burped in my face. <laughs> We're doing a, a sparkling water taste test. Which one's your favorite, Katie? Probably she the likes cherry lemonade one. But the cherry lemonade is really good too. I yeah. think I like the blood orange the most. I like the blood orange too. Really? This dove was not being Wait, consumed. Let me retry the black cherry. <laughs> Five calories <laughs> for the whole can. Nice, nice. Contains 25% fruit juice. <laughs> I like the blood orange because it feels less like a pop. All right, now we, now we begin a two-hour time lapse of The Greatest Showman. They were for like whatever. Katie, how pumped are you? Scale of one to ten. Mm -hmm. About the pizza or the movie? Uh, let's do the pizza first. The pizza, ten. P movie? movie? Eleven. Okay, I was gonna say you better you better choose your words wisely. Why am I always eating? <laughs> you're the like, third person to say that. Tyler, have you been reading the comments? No. You're the third person to say that. Oh. Oh, Dustin, are you that. excited about the the movie? I don't. I'm going upstairs in a second. Man. No, you're not. <gasps> no. You Bro, I got work at six thirty. So so we're we? doing this at ten o'clock. We're not doing this at one in the morning like we I'm did last time. Man, I didn't get a nap. I had to go. I didn't get the nap. I was miserable at the dentist, dude. <laughs> you did get. <laughs> Dustin got destroyed at the dentist today. Uh -huh. um, First time we went four years, man. <laughs> How many have? <laughs> I have. So on a scale of one to five, five being gum disease, I have fours everywhere. So if you have any comments and uh, suggestions for proper oh, gum, it did. oh, that, that's what it is. You need to go. I'm getting there because it's been about a year, year and a half since it's I. It's been I like four years for you too. <laughs> We're home. Weird vlog. <laughs> Unexpected day, but it's mm. lovely. Yeah. We love showing people the greatest showman. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, that's what our goal was tonight, was to show uh, Dustin and Katie greatest showman, teach them the ways of the greatest showman. But I wanted to tell a little story because it's been out long enough where I think a handful of you have seen it, and if not, it's not giving away a plot story. But in the one of the, towards the beginning of the movie, when Hugh Jackman and his wife, like, first, they kind of elope. Yeah, they? they just kind of like leave. Leave? Yeah. And like go she to moves city. out and they go to the city and they get engaged and married. But they go into this apartment, it's like a classic downtown apartment. Yeah. Hardwood floors, big windows, and all they have is like, like a blanket. Small, small yeah. and quaint. And all they have is she like throws a blanket out. And they're like laying on that blanket and it's like all they have. And it, that literally, that almost that exact same scene happened to Sarah and I. We, we got, got our, our keys first keys our first apartment. on yeah. the north side of Chicago, and we had these big windows, hardwood floor. We and got the like keys the at like day. seven o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night. And we didn't like we moved all our stuff in like a couple of weeks later, but we didn't move in until the weddings. But this is like the day we got our keys. We showed up, got the keys, and we're just like sitting in our apartment with the lights on, mm -hmm. with the few lights that there were because we didn't have lamps yet because we literally had no furniture. Yeah, so we're we had in a lamp on the floor. Completely, not even at that point, did we? Yeah, we, we had did, the we little lamp that. that, I don't even know where that is. Oh, it's in, I think it's in the second picture. So literally we're just like laying on the floor of our apartment where our bed was gonna be, just being like, These are, this is our first home. Yeah. Like, this is our first, first home for us. Mm -hmm. Just us, and we were so excited. And like, I remember that feeling of like laying there being like, this is ours. Yeah. And this is the beginning of our life. And it was just super. That, that scene always reminds us of that. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go to bed? Eve and I are going with Peter in the morning because she has her vet appointment with a different vet for our second opinion um, on her infection. So I'm super anxious about it. So She's super please, stressed. The, the vlog's not going to go up until afterwards. Um, but still, just please keep us in your thoughts because I'm worried about her. 
Sarah stresses a lot mm. about lots of things. <laughs> and so she's like stressed about every aspect of this visit. Like it's a new visit, make sure the paperwork's right, make sure Eve hopefully won't have to have surgery. Hopefully right. it's like going away or this vet will have a better idea of what to do that's this not surgery. Yeah. Where it's gonna the whole visit's gonna cost a million dollars, where <laughs> the surgery's gonna cost a million dollars if it has to happen. She's stressing. Mm -hmm. So leave a comment down below and be like, it's cool, Sarah. No matter what happens, we can handle it. Yeah. I know we can. It's just like, the, I always say like, I grew up hating storms. I hate the, the dark clouds rolling in more. Like once it starts raining, I'm good. It's just like right now, like knowing it's coming, once I'm there, I'm good. And then it'll be over before I know it. So like, it's just like the anticipation that gets me. And then yeah. also leave a comment down below telling Katie and Dustin to start a vlog. Yeah. They didn't get a camera tonight. No. They're mulling over options, mm -hmm. but they're thinking about it. Yeah. So, so hopefully we'll have good news about that too. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.